Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the first year of A-Level Maths. Here we're looking at lengths and areas in coordinate systems for exercise 5G. This is really the problem solving type questions that are brought about by straight line graph questions. So first of all we're going to look at the distance between two coordinates. So if we're ever given any two set of coordinates we can find the distance between those coordinates by effectively drawing out a little Pythagoras triangle and working out the distance of the hypotenuse. So what we do is we work out the difference in the y coordinates, the difference in the x coordinates, and then do a little bit of Pythagoras theorem to work out the distance of the black line here. Now don't be worried that um, maybe it might appear on the left hand side of this y axis here or in any of the four quadrants, it's still going to be roughly the same formula happening here as long as you treat the x1 value here as if it was a negative, you have to substitute it in here as a negative value. So, for example, let's have a go at this basic question here. Find the distance between the two coordinates, 2, 3 and 5, 7. So the way that I'd approach this is just draw out a really quick sketch. 2, 3 is the coordinate that's here. 5, 7 is going to be up here. Now what I need to do is I need to go along 3 to get from 2 up to 5 and I need to go up by 4 to get from 3 up to 7. So it's just going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared square rooted and we'll get 25. Square root of 25 is 5 so the answer here will be 5 as the distance. Another way of doing it is by using the formula. Now in this question here it's all quite easy because all of these values here are positive. Make sure however that when you plug them into your calculator um, you're going to substitute in the negative values of this. So for example if y1 was a negative value you'd be getting a double negative here because it's a negative take, uh, taking away a negative which gives us a positive. So if you're using the formula make sure you're really careful with the negatives and positives of it um, in your calculator. In this case here we're going to get D as 5 as well. My preference would be for you to draw out a little diagram and look at the differences in the coordinates but this is available as well. There is the, um, there is the opportunity for you to accidentally make some small mistakes on these uh, uh, negative signs here so just be really careful if you're using this. Okay, so the straight line, let's have a go at another question. The straight line L1 uh, is this equation here and L2 is this equation here, intersect at point A. And the question here for part A is work out the coordinate of A and part B will work out the area of the triangle um, where O is the origin and B is the coordinate where L2 meets the x-axis. So let's first find coordinate A then. So we do this by simultaneous equations. What's probably going to be easier here is if we rearrange to make y the subject here and then substitute it into the second equation, we can get through this a bit quicker. So substitute in the y value here as the value 4x. And then work out what x needs to be. In this case we get 3 over 2 or 1.5. We need to work out the coordinate of A, so we can't stop there. Substitute it back into the uh, either one of the equations we find, and we get y equals 6. So our coordinate of A is 3 over 2, 6. So now we need to work out the area of this triangle here. So let's draw a sketch, labelling all the key points. We have these two coordinates lines here. Their intersection is at 3 over 2, 6. The way that we worked out these blue coordinate intersections, uh, let me show you an example in this one here, what we did was we set the y coordinate in this equation equal to 0. So we ignore the 3y then because 3y is uh, a value of 0 and no, the x value here would be the value of 0, wouldn't it? The x coordinate here is 0. Uh, so set the 2x value equal to 0, so here x needs to be 7 and here the y value equals 0, so we're going to get 2x equals 21, so 21 over 2. Right, so um, 
write down the, so B is where the point L2 meets the x-axis, so that's how we found this 21, 2, 0 coordinate here. And now we just need to find the area of this. So what we can do then is perpendicular height times base. So the height of this graph here is going to be 6, that's effectively the y coordinate. The base of this coordinate is 21 over 2. So 21 over 2 times 6, and remember it's half a b sine c, so half times space times height. Uh, so divide it through by 2 and you get 31.5. Okay, so that's the area of that triangle. Right, your turn then. Have a go at these questions here. Pause the video and see how much you can do. Right, okay, well done for having a go at these two questions here. Let's crack on with question one. The coordinate zero, 1 is here. The coordinate 6, 9 is way up here. So the difference in the x coordinates is going to be 6. The difference in the y coordinates is going to be 8. So it's square root of 6 squared add 8 squared, which is 10. So the answer here is 10 units. Moving on to question four, a slightly trickier one. The distance between two points, minus 113 and x9, is the square root of 65. Find the two possible values of x. Now, what does it mean by two possible values of x? Well, if I plot out my coordinate at minus 113, so here, definitely know where that one is, and the coordinate x9. Now this coordinate here is going to be some value x along this axis here and a y coordinate of line 9. So on my diagram I'm going to draw this 9 coordinate below this coordinate here, so over here, or it could be over here. So I could have two different values of x where this distance from here to here is the square root of 65 or this distance from here to here is the square root of 65. Now, setting up a little right-angled triangle here, we're going to have minus 1 as the x-coordinate here, and the distance in the heights is 4. So, setting up a little Pythagoras calculation here, it's going to be 4 squared for the height squared, and now I need to consider what the base is going to be. Well, in this case here, my base uh, distance is going to be the value x, uh, add on 1 because the distance from here to here is going to be the distance x up until the 0 mine line and a further 1 up until this point here. So my distance in the, um, in the x-axis here is going to be plus x plus 1 squared. So that's the distance that I have here. Uh, and this distance here is going to equal the square root of 65. So what I now need to do is square both sides, so I'm going to get 16 plus x plus 1 squared equals uh, 65. Now taking away 16 from both sides, I'm going to get x plus 1 squared equals 49. And here square rooting both sides now, I'm going to get x plus 1 equals plus or minus 7. And taking away 1 onto both sides, I'm going to get two different cases here. x equals, when I take away 1 from 7, I'm going to get 6. And when I take away 1 from minus 7, I'm going to get x is minus 8. Okay, so we're going to get two values here. x is uh, 6, x is minus 8. Now, a good question would be, well, why didn't I take this distance, this distance here? Um, and the reason for that is um, I would have just got different different values for x because this distance this value here would have had to have been um, negative x as a coordinate. Um, and you can see here that my distance here is still going to be seven if my x coordinate is minus eight. So I still would have got the same answer if I'd have taken that distance there. Um, the solutions may have come out the other way around though. All right then, so have a go at questions from exercise 5G. Um, make sure you persevere through those difficult questions and ask your teacher if you need any help. Right, thanks very much for watching.